Hi, it's Lewis Wing, your continuous improvement coach from Flow Plus. This is an understand module designed to give you a quick overview of a tool before we learn how to practically apply or use it. By the end of this module, you will understand the definition of a value stream map and what it is. You'll appreciate the objective of it and know the five steps to follow. Value stream mapping is an extremely powerful meta tool for identifying exactly where to start your lean journey. It provides a holistic view of each step of your entire system and it allows you to understand how you currently work and where you are on the lean scale. Value stream mapping objectively maps the sequence of activities required to create customer value and bring a product or service to the customer. The first point I will stress with value stream maps is that it's really important to do this as a team with the people from the Gemba. Value stream maps are all about understanding how things work and how they're really being done, even if this deviates from what managers or engineers think really happen. If you don't include the people from the Gemba, the map will be what you think or hope happens and not what really happens and improvements will end up being missed. I've come into many companies to find that they have a laminated, visually perfect value stream map that a manager has spent weeks creating that is inaccurate and created without any involvement from the operators that know what really happens on the shop floor. This is not just a waste of time, but a missed opportunity to gain involvement from the team and kick off the lean journey the right way. To add to that, value stream mapping will often be people's first experience with Lean and a great opportunity to identify the challenges and the changes that will really make a difference. So let's not create these maps in isolation. Let's work with a team, use real data from the Gemba and seek to truly understand how things are really operating, even if it's not how they were intended. So what is a value stream map? It is a snapshot in time, just like a photograph, that allows you to view all the steps that take place between raw materials entering the factory at goods in and finished goods leaving the factory at the other end. In the UK, we have something called an MOT for your car, which is a vehicle inspection to make sure it is roadworthy and you need to get inspection done every year. It identifies problems like too high emission levels or poorly functioning brakes or lights not working. And in some way, it has a similar role to a value stream map to identify problems before you start fixing them. A value stream map maps both the flow of material and the flow of information through your system from your supplier all the way through to your customer and includes all the processes in the scope. Transport between processes, inventory, wit, and data on the efficiency of each process. This is what a value stream map visually looks like. And by the end of the chapter, you'll be able to create one similar for a system of your choice. Value stream mapping follows five distinct steps. The methodology begins with defining the scope of your map and finishes with the creation of an improvement roadmap, outlining exactly what you need to do to improve and what the plan of action looks like. We'll start with the first step of the scoping in the next module. Let's summarize what we have learned. We know that a value stream map is a visual map of all processes required to transform raw materials into finished goods, mapping both material and information flows. We know the main objective is to identify improvement opportunities, and we now know that the five steps are the scope, the current state map, the future state map, cost benefit analysis, and finally, the improvement roadmap. Please join me in the next module to learn how to conduct the first step of a value stream map the scoping stage.